That's what really inspired me to do this. His high school career covers the gamut of activities and accomplishments, but today, just weeks before graduation. I just kind of expected a few local people to sign, you know. Springfield High School senior Isaac Rasset is leading what may end up as his highest profile high school effort so far. Wasn't expecting the over 11,000 people that have signed so far. Isaac wants his class of 42 to have a chance at a traditional, albeit socially distanced, graduation. That's why he started this online petition, just one of several. I was angry. Circulating throughout the state, including this one started by Farmington mother, Sheila Bali. We figured we'd do an hour on, an hour off to clean. So, I mean, we had it talked about in ways that it would work. Um, and it was kind of all snagged from us. Concerns like these have collectively sparked Representative Ron Creshaw to take action. I received 52 emails. And so he's written a letter to the state's education commissioner asking she reconsider the graduation guidelines that prohibit in-person gatherings, saying districts should be allowed to decide for themselves, especially those that are smaller and in greater Minnesota. The guidance that we're seeing here, just frankly, is unrealistic. It's a one size hurts all. But in a statement from the Education Department today, a spokesman acknowledged the decision was hard and even, quote, breaks our heart. But these guidelines were made with public health protection in mind. Well, my parents always told me that if you feel strongly about something, you should act on it. As for Isaac, he's still reaching for that last high school goal, hoping he can deliver for himself and his fellow graduates. Because I feel like without a traditional graduation ceremony, you can't like say, Goodbye to your classmate. Well, some districts have postponed their ceremonies to later in the summer, but state leaders say that comes with a risk too, given they can't predict it will be safe to gather even then. They remind everyone they're looking at several factors when making these very difficult decisions.